put on the bridge, stop and go a couple times. The Golden State Warriors haven't been of playoff level this season, but they found a gem in Jonathan Kaminga, who has emerged as arguably the team's second best player. He was always talented and full of potential because of his innate athleticism and versatile skill set, but Kaminga has taken his game to the next level the past month to try and become the answer to the Warriors' problems. The young forward has lived up to the hype and could very well become the future of the Bay Area. His success is going to be integral to the Warriors moving forward, especially with the core trio getting older and older. Kaminga's sudden rise this season is a welcome surprise to a struggling Warriors team, and his story is one that's worth taking a look at to see just how he got to this point in his young career. Basketball has now become a more global sport than it used to be. Born in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Jonathan Kaminga followed in the footsteps of the likes of Hakeem Olajuwon, Dikembe Mutombo, and Joel Embiid to play basketball in the U.S. as a teenager. Kaminga, drive go! Kaminga changed high schools a few times, but averaged 16 points and 5 rebounds as a junior before reclassifying as a member of the class of 2020. He was ranked 4th overall on most recruitment lists due to his innate physical gifts and versatile skills. But instead of going to college, he joined the NBA G League as part of the first class of G League Ignite players in what was a trailblazing moment for the NBA. What was clear during his lone season with the G League Ignite team was was that he was a raw prospect. The athletic abilities were there, but the shooting and consistency were still trying to catch up with his body. Kaminga averaged 15.8 points and 7.2 rebounds in 13 games in the G League, but he shot 38.7% from the floor. He had potential because of his size, wingspan, and athleticism. Still, every other part of his game was raw. So when he tried his hand at the 2021 NBA draft, Kaminga got drafted seventh overall by the Golden State Warriors, who loved the young man's sheer athletic abilities. But at the age of 18, when he got drafted, he was going to be a long-term project due to his raw abilities. Playing 17 minutes off the bench during the 2021-22 season, Jonathan Kaminga was a role player who showed flashes of brilliance a few times as a rookie. He averaged 9.3 points while mostly finishing off passes from Stephen Curry and the other established stars on the team. But his role diminished deeper into the season when it was crunch time for Golden State. The Warriors had a phenomenal run during the 2022 playoffs. Golden State relied on its trusted core trio of Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green to win the 2022 NBA championship. Meanwhile, younger players like Kaminga barely saw any action during that championship run. Still, the consensus was that he was going to eventually find his place as one of the young talents that the Warriors were going to rely on in the future. As a sophomore, his game did not change much. Kaminga was getting more minutes and touches, but was yet to develop any consistency on both ends of the floor. The talent and athleticism were always there. The problem was that he was playing the game a little bit too fast and was often causing turnovers or forcing bad shots. On the defensive end, he also made crucial mistakes when he became a bit too impatient. Kaminga was simply a bit too young and immature to be getting more minutes on a team that was trying to make it to the playoffs and defend its championship. True enough, he wasn't able to contribute much to the Warriors' 2023 playoff run, which ended in the second round. Was it the case of the sophomore jitters for the young man? It seemed so. It could have also been the pressure of trying to contribute to a team that was built to win championships. But the Warriors couldn't afford to stay patient with Kaminga for a long time because the team was in need of youth to aid the aging trio of Curry, Thompson, and Green. During the 2023-24 season, the Warriors experienced several meltdowns that made it clear that this team's golden days were just about done. Curry is still Curry, but Thompson has been losing his shooting legs. Meanwhile, Draymond has been effective whenever he's actually available, but his availability has been the biggest problem all season long. 
Kaminga and the younger guys needed to step up to make up for the team's problems. Green's suspension was supposed to be his time to try to take over the power forward spot and make Steve Kerr realize that he might just be the future of this team. But the problems that plagued him during his first two years in the league persisted early on. Kaminga may have gotten more minutes and touches, but he wasn't making the right plays. In his first 14 games as a full-time starter, he averaged 14.1 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 2.6 assists while shooting 54.5% from the field. Kaminga's got it three times, and this time... Those numbers are impressive, but there were still issues that the stats didn't show. He wasn't always aggressive on the offensive end. There were moments wherein he would rather take a jump shot than try to get to the basket, where he was at his most effective. On the defensive end, he was still a bit too impatient when he was committing unnecessary fouls or gambling on steals. His mistakes prompted the coaching staff to give more minutes to the veterans during crunch time. But Kaminga's displeasure was well documented. He once leaked to the media that he had lost faith in Steve Kerr's coaching when he got benched in the second half of a loss. The situation wasn't exactly sunny in Golden State, and Kaminga's problems with Kerr's coaching only contributed to the gloomy issues surrounding the Warriors. Luckily for all parties involved, instead of trading Kaminga or benching him, the Warriors tried to fix things up internally. The timely return of Draymond Green also helped Kaminga's emergence as an up-and-coming star. From January 12th to February 8th, 2024, Kaminga averaged 23.8 points and 6.3 rebounds over a 12-game stretch. Tipped it again. Kaminga one more time. Still on the glass. Look at that work! What's more impressive is that he shot nearly 60% from the field during that run. In a win over the Atlanta Hawks on January 24th, he was a perfect 11 out of 11 from the field to score 25 points. Jonathan Kaminga has been nothing short of impressive and has been looking like the forward that the Warriors needed him to be when they drafted him in 2021. The 21-year-old's numbers have been incredible ever since the initial misunderstanding with Steve Kerr. So what happened to Kaminga? In Kerr's words, the game has slowed down for him and he's figured things out. He understands when he needs to be aggressive and when he needs to tone things down. His demeanor on the court also changed. Kaminga is now trying to find the best available shots possible. Kaminga. Kaminga. Oh! Especially when he knows that the floor is almost always open due to Curry's constant movement. When he gets a smaller man on him, he gets a good position in the paint and doesn't hesitate to ask for the ball. He's figured out how to use his size, length, strength, and athleticism to his advantage. And whenever there was an opportunity for him to run, he always made sure to leak out because he knew that he was going to get the ball from his teammates. The entire mindset for Kaminga has changed because he's now starting to understand what his strengths and weaknesses are and what he needs to do to maximize his athletic skills. He goes for high percentage shots and makes the extra pass when he doesn't get a good look. But Kerr's lineup adjustments have also contributed to Kaminga's rise. With Green back, the Warriors are no longer fielding a true center. Instead, Kerr has been starting Green and Kaminga at center and power forward to space the floor and provide more opportunities for the team to run. Kaminga's main asset is his youth, and the best way to take advantage of those young legs is to give him enough space and pace to get a running start to the basket. Kaminga breaks out, goes up and throws it down. With Kaminga putting constant pressure on the rim, the defense would have to adjust to his aggressiveness. While he might see his numbers drop now that opposing teams know that he's a real threat, this will eventually free up Curry and Thompson out on the perimeter. On the defensive end, the Warriors may have been giving up size and length with Green and Kaminga defending the paint, but it allows the team to play faster on defense. Kaminga has been playing the passing lanes more and more as of late and is willing to scramble on defense whenever the ball gets to the paint. It's basically a win-win situation for the entire team whenever Kaminga is playing this aggressive style of basketball the right way. But is this enough to help the Warriors go on a run and make the playoffs? Well, there are so many other issues plaguing the team right now other than Kaminga's initial struggles. 
He may have redefined his own success and is now playing extremely well, but he's not going to be the sole savior that this team needs to make a run at a playoff spot. It would take more than that to fix this team's problems. Then again, the improvements he has shown this season will be more than enough for the Warriors to make him untouchable when the team inevitably reevaluates its roster in the next offseason.